the Canucks preseason special. Brought to you in part by Tell Us Pick and Win. Make your picks each game at Canucks.com. Well, I'm in, uh, in charge of uh, developing young talent, and uh, you know, uh, most of my time is going to be spent with with the pro- at the prospect level. But uh, you know, I do uh, uh, try to offer insight to to all the players here, and whether it be uh, guys like Steve Bernier or, or Kyle Wellwood or whoever, you know, what, what, what it's going to take for them to be the best hockey players they could be eventually. So what, whatever their goals are, um, so. Um, you know, but primarily, you know, this summer I did a lot of work with Cody Hodgson and, and Jan Sove and uh, and all, a lot of our younger prospects, and just analyzing what what uh, what they what they need to do to get better. Uh, so we want to provide them with every every tool we can in order to make them the best hockey players they can be, from the sports psychology side of things to their physical training on a daily basis to uh, to uh, their nutrition. Um, and we just we just don't want to leave things to chance. We want to make sure that these uh, young men are given every opportunity to fulfill their, their you know, their potential, and uh, uh, you know, and hopefully accelerate the process as well, so we can get them in a Vancouver Canuck uniform earlier, so that they're producing for this organization and and, and helping uh, uh, make this uh, team a winning team earlier earlier than than later. So that's that's what I see my role as. I just love the game, you know, right from the start. My brother got me into it originally and, you know, kept me uh, playing ball hockey every day <laughs> after school and on weekends and, you know, really gave me someone to compete against when I was younger for, for everything. So, um, you know, I just always loved the game and loved the way that, you know, idolized uh, all the players going up, and Steve Yeisman, Mark Messier, and Wayne Gretzky, Mario Mio. I just really looked up to those guys and you know, it's always been uh, in my life. <laughs> When I get to the ring, I know what I have to do, tape tape my sticks and do what I need to do to get ready. I have pretty much the same set routine for every game that I play. Uh, you know, I go to bed around the same time the night before, prepare the night before, um, get to the rink or, or eat around the same, get up in the morning around the same time, eat kind of the same type of meals around the same time, and really uh, go into my routine that way. Being around hockey my whole life, I know my family is, uh, you know, really a uh, hockey ingrained family. You know, we get four kids and we all play hockey. My dad played hockey. And my mom's a hockey mom. <laughs> really a hockey ingrained culture. Like I said, in my house, we played mini sticks all the time when we were younger and had kids over. Matt Duchesne playing uh, in our basement and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, everything we did centered around hockey. So, uh, it's been the center of my life my whole life, and you know, coming here, I just I see it as a great opportunity and. And hopefully a hockey continues to be my life. I think competition is uh, you know, one of the best aspects of sport. It brings out the best in people and sometimes the worst as well, but I try to focus on the, on the positives of it. And I think that uh, competition really it, uh, allows you to be who you are. And it's something that uh, you really learn who people are when competing against them and with them. I think it's just I was always on the other side of it, you know, always asking for the autographs of the guys uh, when I was around growing up, and you know, I just see that uh, you know a lot of them took the time and the effort to come uh, come sign my autographs, and, and Ty Domi actually threw me a puck one game, so <laughs> I have great memories from uh, you know all the Leaf guys and all the people that have been around, so um, just uh, you know, I'm kind of give back with uh, giving me as well. I know you're real busy. Can I get a picture with the two boys here? I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, sure. I'll take it real quick. Okay, guys. Obviously, the big part of the game is it's really a business now at this level. But I think uh, if you listen to the best players and when they talk, like guys like Sidney Crosby, they still love the game. And one thing Wayne Gretzky always said was to really love the game. You know, that's how uh, you know you put up with so much stuff, and you just if you uh, if you really love the game, you can do anything. And then a rebound attempt put just wide. Cody Hodgson came swooping in on the backhand.